Welcome back to another show and tell video. Today we're looking at something interesting. This is a German copy of an Italian design of the German Bundeswehr um, combat uh, fighting knife. So what this is, is a Miltech or Sturm Miltech produced uh, version of the uh, Italian design by Mazarin. And Mazarin is a production company of many knife designs, but uh, they are also the official producer of the knife of this type for the Bundesfeer. And uh, this was originally a, a supply to their federal forces. And there's a little bit of difference between the two descriptions. So if I go through the original uh, specifications off of Mazarin, uh, against knife supplied to the German army, so the Bundeswehr Messe, it was 420 stainless steel, an aluminum sheath, the suspension, this portion, was made of cowhide, blade thickness of 4 millimeter, overall length of 260 millimeters, and the blade length by itself would be 140 millimeters or 5.511 inches. Handle of green nylon, overall weight of 300 grams. Now, this is the Miltech version. So, you can see Miltech there. And they're describing this as, I'll try not to mispronounce, Bundeswehr Kampfmesse Zerligba Olive. So, the Bundeswehr uh, Combat Knife. Uh, Detachable, I believe, and then olive for olive green. And then there would be also a black handle version, I believe, of the uh, sold under the Schwartz option. And this uh, description from Miltech, uh, Sturm Miltech, is uh, 440A stainless ABS grip, so very similar to nylon. Sheath is a Zamac alloy, so again, some sort of uh, uh, metallic aluminum. Replaceable blade, you see here, different uh, access points under the handle. Leather suspension, this portion. Blade is 14.5 centimeters, with the overall length of 26.5 centimeters, so possibly... Uh, very slight uh, length differences between this German version and the, I believe it's the original Italian version. So let's take a closer look. You can see here the handle here. The way it's uh, molded and formed with the grip surface and the attachment screws, which appear to be different size and type. Blade itself. Here you can see rust free. For rust-free stainless and the blade pattern very simple uh, solid top single side on this side with the edge and how it's ground and it looks like that this one is used and has been actually sharpened a little bit into a more reinforced tip because the tip does appear to be slightly uh, shortened down a little bit. Kind of interesting there. Take a closer look at the sheath itself. You can see here the kind of a uh, knob snap type uh, loop to hold the handle in place and the leather. It's riveted. Let's see if these rivets are metallic or not. Yes, they are. 
And again, this is that Zamac alloy. Here we can see a knob that's re retaining this portion of the suspension that is also not magnetic. Now, let's see. If we take this knob off, that will release the suspension from the sheath. And we can take a look at this. And there's really nothing on there. So just a little tip uh, of advice that uh, you can see how this screws into this tiny hole there. It's very easy to st strip the threads on this. So I would not recommend frequent removal of this piece. And uh, put the sheath back in the view there. Another look at the knife. Taking a quick look at the Sturm Miltec, German copy of the Italian uh, design from Mazarin of the Bundeswehr combat knife. So this has been another show and tell video. Feel free to check out other show and tell videos on the channel on vintage mill syrup tools and expanded topics. We also do unboxing videos as well as a selection of book review, media reviews and a series called Curios for the Curious, videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.